हेलो एवरीबॉडी वेरी 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 वॉम वेलकम टू वेदांत जी इंग्लिश चैनल दिस इज मी योर मास्टर टीचर नवुम मेहता भट्टाचार्य जी एंड टुडे आई एम हियर विद अ वेरी 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 इंपॉर्टेंट टॉपिक दैट मोस्ट ऑफ द स्टूडेंट्स एक्चुअली मिस आउट ऑन अ लॉट ऑफ स्टूडेंट्स आल्सो थिंक दैट जे इज एन एग्जाम व्हिच कुड बी अ लिटिल इजी एंड यू डोंट रिक्वायर एनी सैक्रिफाइसेस बट गेस व्हाट दैट्स नॉट ट्रू इट इज वन ऑफ द टफेस्ट एग्जाम एंड टाइम एंड अगेन इट हैज बीन प्रूव्ड दैट इट इज tough exam so if you're thinking that without any sacrifices just by scrolling your phone for 5 hours watching tv going out with your friends and watching movie every weekend you will be able to crack the exam exceptionally wrong you are absolutely not possible sacrifice and je exam probably is mutually exclusive term yeah and that's why i'm here today to let you all know about what are the sacrifices that you have to make of course 50% of the work we will be doing 50% of the work you will be doing yes we will meet halfway through but apart from that there are certain things that you will have to do on your own yes now before i start with the session you all know that this is your vedantu j english channel don't forget to subscribe to this channel if you are new here and my dear student if you are an old student who have been following this channel for a very very long time then don't forget to like the video also to answer your question i know i know many of you must be thinking that mom where were you why couldn't you see why couldn't we see you for such a long time you we haven't seen you at all you haven't been live there were no sessions well that's because i was terribly unwell and um, i couldn't even get up from the bed I don't know if you can understand, but uh, even now I am quite drowsy and quite unwell. But I thought that uh, I, I think I have to uh, come live, and I I think I have to come and tell my students this, which is why I'm here. But uh, to be very honest, I'm still not absolutely fine. But anyway, <laughs> anyway, I am I am still I'm doing a little better, and so I thought that I should come here and you know take a session for you guys. And yes, talking about when are we going to start with the J twenty twenty four sessions? I am very sorry that it kept getting delayed and delayed and delayed. Number one was because we were trying to finish everything with J advanced, and that's why we did not start. Number two, we were waiting for a mathematics teacher, which is almost at, which is almost wrapping up right now. And number three is that I did even book the studio to record the session, but I just could not come. I felt terribly ill. So this is the third reason why we couldn't start it this week. But I promise, from this coming up upcoming week, you will see your J twenty twenty four sessions absolutely live. Now let's start with what is the first thing that we have to do. What is the first sacrifice that you have to make? You have to understand that J twenty twenty four or this exam J double E. you cannot crack it if you are in your comfort zone no you have to step out of your comfort zone you have to make a realistic goal that you will be able to complete let's say one chapter let's say the chapter that is here thermodynamics yes if you are thinking that you will be able to complete thermodynamics in one day no not possible even when i am planning to take the session what i am planning is that i will do the concept in one day and then we will do problem solving in the following two days right So basically, in three days with PYQs, we are going to complete one chapter, and that should be your realistic goal as well. If you are thinking that in one day you will be able to finish one one chapter for physics, for chemistry, for mathematics, no. Realistic goal, my dear student. Realistic goal is the key. Number two, after you have achieved the goals, don't be too hard on yourself. There are a lot of people who think that no, I'm not going to sleep. I'm only going to sleep for three hours. That's not a reward. that's you being too hard on yourself of course strictness is necessary discipline is necessary for yourself but you cannot be too hard on yourself otherwise you stop reacting to it yes so please don't be too hard on yourself make sure that every time you achieve a goal reward yourself with a little break maybe a half an hour break take just go out take a stroll just go out play with your friends a little bit or maybe watch tv whatever you like but give yourself a little reward for something that you have achieved okay number 3 now that you have moved outside your comfort zone okay outside your com comfort zone it was 
unknown to you, right? You did not know what was outside your comfort zone. For example, let's just say that when you actually crack the JEE exam, you will be going to a different city, right? You will be going to a college. You will be meeting a lot of different places. It's unknown. It's a sea of uncertainty. You don't know who are going to be your friends. You don't know who is going to be your teacher. You don't know what are your classes going to be. It's uncertain. But once you reach there, once you reach there, all of these things that you were scared of, it will all become the new normal for you. The campus will look, the campus will feel like home. Your friends will turn into family and those people were once strangers. You did not even know them. You did not even know their name, right? So don't be very scared of stepping out into the, uh, stepping out of the comfort zone because your comfort zone is, is just the bubble that you know right now. Once you step out, I promise it will become the new normal. It will become the new normal. Yeah. Okay, moving on from here, please, please, please. This is one major reason why 50, per, you know what, I'll tell you what. 50 to 80% of the students actually fail because of this. Social media activities, scrolling, doom scrolling, that you're just scrolling, you're scrolling for two kilometers, you don't even know. But you're scrolling, 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 and you're wasting your time. We start saying that, no, I'm going to only scroll for five minutes. And then what happens? It, 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 it goes to five hours. So don't do that. No, don't do that. You have to resist yourself. That's where strictness and disciplinary actions for yourself will work. You understand? A lot sometime, make sure that your parents also know that you are allotting only five minutes or you are allotting only 15 to 30 minutes. If they don't know, you might even give excuses like, no, mama, I only allotted one hour. So let me do this, no? You are going to do this. You are going to try to cheat. But that's where you have to stop yourself. Don't cheat. When it comes to self-discipline, please do not cheat. Because at that point of time, you are not cheating anyone else. If you are thinking that, no, if you, are, if you, are, if you just lie to your parents, they will understand and uh, they will not scold you. Believe me, you, you are thinking that right now you are cheating your parents. But guess what? You are actually cheating yourself in the longer run. In the longer run. There will be a day when your result will hit you like a reality and you will understand that what a major mistake you have made. So social media, stay away from it. Moving on. Occasions, yes, I understand that you are and you will be told by your teachers, by your parents, by your relatives, everybody that no attending any marriage, no attending Diwali functions, no attending Ornam, no attending Pongal, nothing, you cannot attend. No. Like I said, don't be so hard on yourself. Nobody is asking you that you, if you are going to attend an occasion, then spend the whole day just in the celebrities and the festivities. Don't do that. Take one or two hours out. Take one to two hours out. And then what you have to do is you can attend the festivities. Yes. One or two hours if you take out for a function or for any festivities, it's okay. Right. It is fine. A family function, if you attend, it's fine. But again, make sure that you don't do it for five hours. You don't do it for the whole day. Understood? Moving on from here now. Moving on from here. Stop mugging up. Stop mugging up. This is one thing that you will find everywhere on the internet. And it is very important that mugging up, especially in case of chemistry. I have seen a lot of students who try to mug up inorganic chemistry. No, it doesn't have to be. I know it's a dry subject, but that's when you have to find an interesting teacher and follow them throughout the whole year and make sure that you are not mugging up, but you are actually trying to learn these things that they are saying. Yes, understand the context, understand the depth, understand the subject, and you will be able to score in snaps. All right, yes, and please live a healthy life. If you are thinking that if you give up on your sleep and if you start eating any time of the day, it is helping you? No. Please do a little bit of exercise. 
see i will not ask you to follow this early to bed and early to uh, you know early to rise and make some man healthy well no 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 it can be different for you you can be a night owl or you can be an early early bug it's okay whatever whatever time works the best for you follow that but please exercise a little bit and exercise does not does not mean that you have to go out and run you have to go cycle you have to go dance somewhere you have to go somewhere no get a skipping rope and just skip even that is fine start with start slow do 100 skips 100 you know rope skips one in one day then increase it to 200 then to 400 then to 500 then to 1000 that's fine and you will be able to complete 1000 jump ropes in in just 15 minutes or so yeah seriously you can do that much right yes and please no junk for this one whole year or this whole two year because believe me every time you fall sick you will be losing out 2 to 3 days yeah all right so with this note i'm going to end the today's session extremely sorry for not being able to take a live session and extremely sorry for not being able to take an academic session believe me i was not able to move but i promise from the next weekend we will be here with zor shore and every ounce of josh in our body all right i'll see you very soon don't forget to like share and subscribe with your friends thank you so much for watching this session and if you want to stay connected with me beyond this classes then here is my instagram handle however like i said do make sure that social media is only happening for a very 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 small time okay all right so with this note tara bye bye and have a nice day see ya